everybody, Princess Jay here, and welcome to another episode of Fantasy Friday. Here we're going to be talking about one of my favorite movies, um, well not favorite movies, one of my favorite characters, and today we're going to be speaking on Mulan, and now let me give you a little bit of information on her. Um, now Mulan the movie itself was released on June 19th, 1998, and it was a 36th Disney film to be released at the time. Um, this movie was released during the Disney Renaissance, um, and it was actually during the Disney Renaissance era because of the whole time frame and stuff like that. So it's actually pretty, pretty cool. Now, the movie itself is actually based off of an actual legend or story told back then in China. So it's based off of a Hamulan who was a legendary warrior woman from the northern and southern dynasties. In the ballad itself, Mulan takes her father's place in the army in the army just like in the movie, but in this rendition of the story, she fights for 12 years and she gets a lot of awards and stuff, but Mulan being humble and being her down-to-earth self, she doesn't want any of those awards. So what she does is that she retires from the army and she goes and back to her hometown and lives there the rest of her life. Now, in both aspects of the ballad and in the movie itself, Mulan is a, is a risk taker. She risks her life to take her father's place in the army. Now, during the time, um, during this time of Chinese culture, women weren't allowed to do what men were allowed to do. So women weren't allowed to work, women weren't allowed to go to war, women were just there in the household taking care of any kids present, cooking, cleaning, making clothes, like sewing, doing anything, doing everything that women are supposed to do. They weren't allowed to go to the war or do any of that. So by Mulan changing who she was and changing her identity, that was the only way that she could, you know, take her father's place. She loved her father and cared for her father so much that she didn't want to put him through that type of pain. Once again, she didn't want to lose her father. So by her risking all her, by her risking her life to do this, it's kind of a heavy, heavy thing because it's like she could have gotten killed if she, if she could, if she found, oh my goodness, if she, she was found out way in the beginning of the movie, there would be no movie because they'd be like, nope, mm -mm, you're dead, you're dying, so no. But the fact that she kept it along throughout the whole entire film and even throughout the whole entire ballad, it, it's, it's really, really impressive. So during the making of the movie itself, animators wanted to stay as close as possible to the Chinese watercolor um, implementation. So what they did is throughout the whole entire Mulan movie, they implemented a few watercolor themes. So a few of the storyboards that were painted out while the movie was being made, they watercolored it to make it look like um, the actual you know Chinese cultural painting thing. So. It's really, really cool movie. Mulan itself is, it's empowering. She is an empowering figure to females out there. So actually not, not only females, but to people in general. Like she is just strong, willing, uh, independent. She thinks for herself. She doesn't have, she's not a damsel in distress. She's not no princess waiting to be rescued. She is her own woman. She is her own person. And that's what gives this movie kind of a unique feel. So the whole, you know, princess and prince charming type of thing. She is her own woman. She saved a country and she saved her reputation because when she did go to war and she did fight for her country, she got rewarded by the emperor. So she didn't get disowned by anybody. She was rewarded because she did what, you know, what nobody else could do. And it was, she did it with heart because her purpose was love. She did it with love and she did it with heart. That was her main purpose. She didn't do it, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be vengeful. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. No, she did it because she cared about her family. She cared about her her father. She cared about everybody. And it, it, she, it was done with heart and love and every, every, everything you could possibly imagine is in this movie. And this movie is really cool, really amazing. The music is awesome. The songs are amazing. Um, Mushu is so funny. I love him. He is hilarious. Eddie Murphy did an amazing job on him. Um, but just everything is just completely cool about this movie. All right, that's it for Fantasy Friday. And it was a little short, but don't worry. You'll have a lot more videos coming out throughout, throughout the whole entire week. So in order for you to catch those videos, be sure to press that little bell next to my name so you can get notifications as to when my videos are going to be up. 
Be sure to follow me on any um, social media platforms and be sure to stay tuned for next week's Magic Monday and also Wacky Wednesday. So if you guys have any comments, just comment below. So like and subscribe. Up until then, bye guys. Have fun and surprise.